Hey, badass crew. I want to share my personal experience with the X39 LifeWave patch. My friend John Cadori introduced me to Eddie V, who gifted me some X39 patches to try. Honestly, the first few days, I didn't really feel any different. Then I went dancing with one of my besties. I thought for sure when I woke up the next morning that I'd be stiff and sore, but on the contrary, I actually hopped out of bed ready to take on the day. I'm continuing to stay on the X39 because I'm also seeing the difference in my friend John, and I want to get those kind of results. I'll keep you posted on my experience. Go to reactivate-stem-cells.com forward slash how dash X39 dash works to get the four minute video explaining how this little patch does so much. Welcome to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Badass Direct Sales Mastery is a podcast for rock star direct sales moms who are determined to make their business kick ass. Jenny will share her knowledge of effective sales and recruiting techniques, tips to get what you want from your business, and will interview direct sales professionals and leaders from various companies. The interviews will give insight to how these rock stars got to where they are and where they plan to grow in the future. And now, the direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Welcome back to another episode of Badass Direct Sales Mastery. I'm your host, your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger, helping you whip your business into shape. Today, I have with me Chuck Williams. Now, Chuck Williams is a senior director with LifeWave. And interestingly enough, we live in the same metropolitan area. And in seven years of being in the coaching industry and five years of podcasting, I've never met Chuck. It's insane. But once we were introduced, I was like, oh, we got to get you on the show. So let me tell you a little bit about Chuck. He has been in the network marketing industry for over 20 years. He's had huge teams of over 10,000 people. And Chuck is all about marriage, family, fun. So you know we connected pretty well over that. Discipleship, physical and financial freedom, and helping people enjoy more life. And I could go on for days and days about Chuck, but you know what? Let's jump into the conversation. Chuck, welcome to Badass Direct Sales Mastery. Jenny, thank you. It's a privilege to be on your podcast today. I've been looking forward to this ever since I met you. So thank you for allowing me to do this. Oh, of course. Like I said, I was like, I'm so excited to get this guy on the show because I love when I get to talk to somebody who has so much experience in the industry to be able to share. So How did you get to where you are now? Because to have somebody in network marketing for over 20 years is huge. It's pretty unusual to see that in in most people's cases. So how did you get started in the industry? I got started because a young couple in my Sunday school class that I taught down in Houston, Texas, came over and exposed the Amway opportunity to my wife and I. I immediately loved the concept, was about to get involved, and things just, the timing wasn't right, so we did not. But fast forward a couple of years, I relocated back to my hometown, St. Louis. I was an executive with a large company. And my boss takes me to lunch one day and asks me if I've ever thought about a plan B. I'm like, what are you talking about? We're doing great here. What, what's up? He goes, well, I'm thinking about starting a business on the side. And I go, time out, time out. I go, is this Amway? And you should have seen his face. And like, why does he go? He goes, yes. How did you know that? I said, well, I saw that a couple of years ago. I was very impressed with the couple that showed it. I was very impressed with the concept. Uh, but the timing wasn't right. Come to find out, he wasn't even in the business yet. He was just kicking the tires. So a couple weeks later, our sponsor in Amway flew his jet from Augusta, Georgia, to the Spear St. Louis Airport. And we're over in a million-dollar home over Chesterfield, opening up our little soap boxes, getting started in Amway. And that was my introduction to network marketing. Great company. Learned a whole lot. Learned a lot about leadership development. In fact, the leadership development I learned through the Amway system help propel my corporate career above all my peers in the industry because no one else was doing personal development. I was on a constant basis. So I never really hit it really big with Amway. Uh, However, I will never minimize that experience. I still have lifelong friends from my initial days. 
Oh my gosh. So I want to point out to the badass crew. So by the way, that's what my listeners call themselves. I want to point into the badass crew right there. That is a massive golden nugget in this, which is the personal development piece can help if you're still working a part-time or full-time job because there are still, even to this day, one would think, because those of us who are in network marketing, we're used to personal development. It is a big part of the business. Many of us refer to the industry as a personal development system with a paycheck attached, right? Um, but the fact that they, you can take this information that you're learning, this personal development, and use it in your job to move forward, make more money there if you want to. I mean, I don't think that's something we've discussed on the show in 270 plus episodes before. That's fantastic. I love that. So it really helped you to grow. Uh, so you were with Amway for a while. So what happened next? Well, I eventually left Amway and started focusing on my corporate career. And then a friend of mine at church told me about this gas card company that was getting started. And you bought a membership and you buy these gas cards and get a big discount for gas cards. I did the math. I'm like, duh, that just makes sense. I can save money every year. I got to buy gas. And so I joined that. And that was so common sense that, man, I got my entire family involved, all my friends, and come to find out that it was kind of one of those pyramid schemes. Uh, The membership thing was uh, not real. Uh, They were funding the discounted gift cards with memberships, and it just wasn't a solid business. Well, when I found that out, obviously, uh, by that time I was making a nice income, I walked away. I'm out, I'm out of here. However, unfortunately, that jaded a lot of my family and friends to where, mm. especially family, have not participated in this industry since that bad experience. So, you know, you're going to have bad experiences, especially when you're new in the industry and you don't know what to look for. Uh, a couple things should have been a clue there. Um, you know, it, it kind of looked too good to be true. And when that's the case, you should really look very, very closely because often it is. And they didn't have any other products other than that membership and a discount card. Um, so anyway, that was a bad experience. And I was just telling somebody, Jenny, just just yesterday, uh, they were talking about how much success I've had in the industry. I go, you know what? In my career, I have had success about 20% of the time. The other 80% of the time, I have failed. But the 20% is what everybody remembers me for. So it's kind of funny. You, you got to kind of be willing to take a risk and fail to be successful in life. Uh, if you're not failing in anything, you're not doing anything. So that was definitely a failure. After that experience, I, I, I kind of got out of networking for a while. And then um was leaving that. I, I got involved in another company in technology. And at, at that time in my career, it was early in my network marketing career, I thought it was really cool to be part of a startup business. You know, be on the ground floor, be in a startup business. And I just want to warn and encourage your listeners That was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. If you just look at the statistics of how many startups make it even five years, the numbers are so staggering, even in traditional businesses, but especially in network marketing companies, you're an absolute fool. Chuck was an absolute fool to think startups were the way to go. But I did that multiple times. Mm -hmm. I was the number one income with multiple companies, but there's no residual income in a company that doesn't survive. So that'd be another golden nugget. Avoid the startups. Let them shoulder proof at least five years before you should even consider a company in my humble opinion. Right. No, that makes perfect sense because there's, a, you know, like you said, there's a lot of companies that that don't make it. But I want to go back to what you said beforehand, which was the 80% of failure, because what that brought to mind, and I don't remember the exact word. So guys, I'm paraphrasing here. I think it was Michael Jordan said, I've missed more shots than most people will ever take. So if you don't know who Michael Jordan is, I just aged myself. You're welcome. (laughs) But it's absolutely true. You have to go out there and be willing to take a shot at something and recognize, okay, that didn't work. You know, it's the Thomas Edison. I found 10,000 ways to make a light bulb that doesn't work, but all I needed was the one that did. And we're still talking about him 120 years later, right? So it's it's that important thing. So you've gone through, you've had a few startups, played played in that industry, realized, okay, that's not where I want to be. How'd you get to where you are today? Well, the first startup that really was successful and lasted a while, it was called the Shopping Genie. And oh. it swept the globe. A lot of people knew about it. It was a, a little widget that basically, when you went to a search engine to search for a product, it would pop up and show you a better price. Started on eBay only. 
And then we expanded into multiple stores and we we're tied into our affiliate programs. And that was my first multiple six figure income earning venture. Ooh. Very exciting. Traveled the world. Friends like Eddie Dokovic and I went to Europe and it just, it was a great experience. Turned out again, it, it wasn't all it was cracked up to be. Eventually it failed and went under. Uh, but that, that was a really good experience. I was in a technology space. And then through that, I had become a customer of a company called Isogenics. Mm -hmm. And I did that because I needed to lose weight. I mean, let's just be frank. Uh, I did it solely for the product. I was not necessarily interested in the business. But as the shopping genie business started to fail, I saw that my future was not going to be there. I really enjoyed the experience and the health benefits of Isogenics. And I'm like, well, let's pursue this as a possible business. And so I looked into it. I really liked their compensation plan. Uh, like the leadership of the company. And so that was another six-figure uh, venture for me. And it was a really good one. I, I enjoyed it very much. I uh, saw a lot of people get good results. And that was an established company. They were on the verge of becoming a billion-dollar-year company at the time I was uh, building with them. Uh, the thing I found about that one, though, and, and nothing against I say I still use a lot of their products today. I love their products. But it was like a, it was a spinning wheel. I would put two customers in, I would lose two. I put three in, I lose two. I put four in and lose five. It was just a constant treadmill. Was what I was looking for. Oh yeah. Um, it was funny. If if it worked for the person, they would quit using it because they got to where they wanted to be. Right. If it didn't work for the person, they would obviously quit. Which you know you understand. But it was just a constant retention issue for me. Yeah. Now maybe that's not for everybody. Uh, but as I quit putting new people in. My, my father passed away about four years ago, almost to, it was July 7th, 2020. Uh, my father passed away and I kind of got a funk. He was my hero in life, my spiritual mentor. And I kind of got a funk and I quit building the ice Jenks business. I quit putting people in and I saw it deteriorate very, very rapidly for the reasons I told you. Right. Uh, and, and so when it came time to, to do another business, I, I really wasn't that excited about that particular business. However, I love their products. I love the friendships I made. I still use their products today, and I probably will the rest of my life. I feel like I really get a lot of nutritional value, and when I do need to lose a few pounds, I know how to do it really quick with their products. So that's kind of where I got to where I'm at today. Yeah. And so recently, you have found something that has now changed, and you've been able to very quickly based on the conversations, because Eddie, that who you mentioned earlier, is the one who introduced you and I. It sounds like you've experienced a lot of quick growth with the LifeWave that I said during your bio, you're with LifeWave now. Tell us about how you got introduced to it. Because, And the reason I ask this is I want people to listen to all the different ways that Chuck was introduced to some of these businesses, because people don't go out and just start searching to find whatever. They get introduced through someone they know, or someone has a great experience with something, right? So I want you to listen, because this is how you can begin to grow your own team is to find a Chuck that you can talk to, right? So tell us how you got into this one. That's a great question. I had been introduced to life with multiple times, because when people see me, they see the 20% Chuck that succeeds. Yeah. They don't think about the 80%. <laughs> so they want me They want me on a team. And so they approached me about being on a team. But I wasn't interested. I, I, I had a job at the time still do, and wasn't looking. Uh, so I was meeting with my life coach. And that's another great tip for people is we need coaching in life. And I didn't think I did, but I'm telling you, uh, in the last 12 months, I started with this life coach, Brenton Deering is his name. He's also my financial planner. And when I was with him, my life has taken on a complete change. It's been amazing what someone helping coach me has done for my life. So that's another golden tip there. But as I meet with Brenton one day, He's telling me about one of his financial planning clients who started a business and he was using the product and they were getting ready to open up Korea. And he knew I knew some context in Korea. He thought I might be interested in the product and maybe giving us some introductions. I said, Brenton, I am zero interest in another business, uh, but I'm definitely interested in the product because I had seen it before. In fact, I had actually called one of the guys who introduced it to me before to try to get the product and he ghosted me. He didn't, he didn't return my call. So I, I want it. That's another tip. You want to stay in touch with people, but I, I wanted the product. And so I, I bought a few sleeves, which is like three months worth of product. Turned out to be a month and a half because my wife and I had both used it. I bring it home. <laughs> um, I asked my wife, I, I asked her, I didn't tell her, you know, let, let's try this product. So we try it. 
And we were trying to, kid you not, 100% as a customer, zero interest in the business. However, what happened with the product was something that I've never experienced in any of my businesses. It was an emotional, unbelievable experience. And ours was minor compared to some of my friends who have since tried the product. In our life, what happened was I'm 63 years old. So the energy isn't what it was 30 years ago, right. obviously, right? So I start wearing this patch and, and I'm wearing the patch 12 hours on, 12 hours off. And it doesn't happen right away for me. But gradually, over four to six weeks, I start to notice an incredible increase in my energy, sustained energy. Hmm. So because I got some freedom on my schedule, if I eat a good lunch and I've got the opportunity to take a little nap in the afternoon, I was doing it. However, when I started wearing this patch, it wasn't even a thought. It would be like six, seven o'clock at night. I'd be like, oh, I forgot to eat dinner. I'm so energized and so active. It was amazing. I mean, definitely energy. But the thing that really sealed the deal with me, the reason I want to try this product in the first place was because my dad, as I had mentioned, died of dementia, Alzheimer's. And having watched him go through it for seven years, I wanted to do whatever I could to avoid that particular way to die. Now, if I get hit by a bus or something, I, we're all going to die, but I don't want to do it that way. Right. And so at the end of my dad's life, a doctor friend of ours, Dr. Dennis Robin, had recommended my dad try stem cell therapy. And my dad was considerably wealthy, so he could afford the 10, 20,000, whatever it was going to cost. But he was far enough along that he didn't want to try anything new. He was just content. He just, no, no, no. But that planted the seed in my mind that stem cells could potentially help with that particular ailment. And so when Brenton made these products available to me, I was very interested. Now, this is the part that really got me. My mental clarity was unbelievable. Yeah. Noticeable. I mean, unbelievable. I'll give you an example. I went to a men's retreat a few weeks ago uh, Wild at Heart. It's based on John Eldridge's book, uh, Wild at Heart. Okay. It's a men's boot camp. It's a spiritual boot camp. And I go, and there's 27 men at this camp. Jenny, I remember every single man's name throughout the camp. And I'm calling each man by name. No one else is doing that. I could not do that before the patch. It, it's an incredible mental clarity, noticeable. Not like a little bit. It's like, you know, I'm shuffling ministry and job and 10 grandkids and all the stuff I'm shuffling. And I'm not losing a beat. I'm not forgetting where my keys are. I'm not forgetting why I walked in a room. I've got mental clarity like I never had before. And the scientific research that LifeWave's done shows you in about six weeks, your brain does balance. The inflammation's gone and you, you, you will get that mental clarity. And that, that to me was the biggest thing. So do you want me to keep going? Cause I'm on a, yeah. I'm a roll. I'm excited. Yeah, no, keep okay. going. So this is good. My wife, my wife is experiencing the same thing, but my wife, Diane loves tennis. I mean, look, in fact, she's playing tennis right now. She loves tennis. She is experiencing more strength. She's not working out. It's just the patch. It's actually giving her more strength. It's giving her endurance. She's able to play longer and harder. Her tennis friends are noticing. And so she decided to build this business before I did. That's <laughs> never happened. Never, ever. She's always been behind the scenes. She's always been a great support admin person, but she's never, ever wanted a microphone in front of her. She, she yeah. You know, make a list, contact people. Are you kidding me? No way. And she's doing it without me asking, without me encouraging her. She's doing it. So she's going and she's telling her tennis friends. One tennis friend has a tennis elbow and they're all in their 50s and 60s. A couple more in their 70s. So they all got aches and pains, right? So this girl has tennis elbow and she's only able to play like once a week. And she's had this experience for at least three weeks. And she's having to play gingerly when she plays. Diane gives her a patch. The next day, now that's not always common, not, not always the case, but the next day, the tennis elbow pain is gone, and the lady is like, unbelievably excited. So another lady, my wife, wow. Diane Patches at tennis, has a knee that swells up and is real sore after she plays tennis, and hey, you're tough. You just do it because you want to play tennis. Diane gives her the patch, no swelling, no pain. Wow. Another girl plays tennis, and she gets excruciating headaches for the evening and even into the next morning. Every time she plays tennis, Diane doesn't know it at the time she gives her the patch, but she's literally considering quitting tennis and so bad. She gives her the patch, bam, headaches are gone. And so we started experiencing those kinds of things. And then it was like March 5th or 6th when Diane decided, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start sharing this actively as a business. I'm a little slow. It was March 12th for me. So <laughs> we just completed our first 90 days. And um, it, it's so exciting because 
the things I've seen are not like a video of a bunch of people showing testimonials. These are my friends who I know who have experienced yeah. almost unbelievable results with this patch. Yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. it's And it was so interesting because uh, I was introduced to our mutual friend, Eddie, uh, through someone who called me. And the same week, I had another introduction to someone else in Life LifeWave. I mean, it was just boom, boom, boom. And what I loved uh, was the person who introduced me to Eddie said, because I've known John for years now, I've literally known him for at least three years. And um, he's always had an issue with his joints. You know, he's older in years than I am. So, you know, he's over 46. We'll put that out there. I'm not going to give his age away without his permission. But when he called me, he said, Jenny, my knees don't hurt. I'm able to get around. And he had the same conversation. He's like, you know, I love tennis. And for the first time in forever, he like literally since he was in his 20s, he was able to go play two hours of tennis with his 22 year old daughter. And I was like, John, that's amazing. How did you do it? And he said, it's this life wave thing. And I went, oh, my God, I've heard of it. I didn't know what it was. You know, I just because being in the industry, I get to hear all kinds of company names and I don't always know what they do and I'll try to explore and go learn more. But, you know, I'm also coaching clients, training teams, doing my thing, you know, so I'm limited in all the things I can do. But I've learned to listen to the universe so much so that I literally have it tattooed on my back because the universe says, hey, listen to this. Hey, hey, listen to this again. Here's another one. So I've learned, OK, I've been introduced to this two times in 24 hours. The universe is like tapping me on the shoulder going, hey, girl. <laughs> right. So now you've been doing this and you've started building in March. It, we are now recording this in mid-June. So literally three months and two days after you said you were ready to start <laughs> doing the business side of it. What has happened? And, and what I'd like to know is not just what has happened in these three months. But how did you do it? What was your plan? How did you work your way through to create the results that we're about to talk about? So um, what's happened in three months to your business through this strategic growth? Yeah, well, I, I've been working a full-time job. I also work with a ministry. So on a very part-time basis, mm -hmm. uh, we have built a team of 276 team members in the first 90 days. Uh, that's produced a very nice residual income already. And the thing I love about this, and it's only been three months, but the retention rate is off the chart. When people experience this product, they don't want to be without it. And that's different than any business I've done in my entire career. This is an emotional attachment to a product that it goes right up under your mortgage as far as important bills to pay. And it's not expensive. You know, I told you my dad was going to spend 10, 20 grand if he chose that stem cell therapy that was available to him. You know, we're looking like a hundred bucks a month to yeah. experience these types of results. It's crazy, but it's real. So the retention's great. Uh, we've been able to build a nice base. You know, we don't use income claims. I won't give you an income claim, but uh, right. I'm almost replacing my income already. So it's, it's it's very, very, very exciting. Well, that's and, and the one thing I want to share is you, you mentioned you heard about this a couple times real quickly. Everybody listening to this call is going to hear about this in the very near future. I mean, obviously you are now. But you're going to hear about it over and over and over again, because this is the fastest growing, hottest momentum company in the direct sales industry. And no one's even close. Right. This company is skyrocketing. Just three years ago, after 17 years in the business, they were doing about $20 million a year in sales. Yeah. Three short years after introducing this product that we're talking about, the X39. This is the product that uh, basically yeah. is reverse aging, is what uh, the CEO and the inventor of the product called it reverse aging, not anti-aging, literally reverse aging is how he quotes it. Right. It's the hottest growing company in the network marketing industry globally. 20 million three years ago, 430 million at the end of last year. Think wow. about that for a minute. After 17 years, just bam. And this product, it just works. I'll give you an example of why that happens. My next door neighbor, he's a home builder. And in conversation, I'm just being friendly. I, I'm enjoying my new neighbor. Uh, he's got severe pain all over his body, but especially his knee as a home builder, it's just a constant, yeah. no pun intended, pain. He pursues me. 
I don't necessarily go after him. When he finds out about the patch, he started, he comes over to my house. He'd actually go, hey, will you tell me more about the patch? I've never had that happen. <laughs> and so I tell him about it. He orders. And then I don't tell him about the compensation plan. He just wants the product. He just wants pain relief. He starts having his sister down in Florida and other friends of his call my wife and say, hey, I need that. Whatever Jay's got, I want it too. Yeah. I've never, ever, ever had that happen in my entire life. You usually have to convince people to make a list, make the calls. It's happening organically and naturally with people that aren't even interested in the business. So right. that that's really cool. Yeah. And so when you got started with the business, what were the strategic calls? What was the plan you made with all of this? Because yes, your customers are naturally sharing it, which anybody who's listening to this right now knows that that is something that they wish they had and they're trying to help create. They're trying to train their customers into referring, right? Um, but customers don't refer unless you, unless you ask usually, but I mean, this is going like wildfire, but what were the strategic calls you made when you were ready to get, get rolling in mid-March? Oh, great question. So I started by asking not my sponsor, Brenton, but his sponsor, Josh, who'd been in for a year and had a little more experience. Mm -hmm. That's another key thing. Go upline a little bit to find a person that's really having great success. Josh is a full-time and got a full-time job still doing this part-time, already making a six-figure income with LifeWave in just a little over a year. Right. And so I asked Josh to help me. I said, I want to launch my business. So literally March 12th, we had a home meeting at my house. My daughter, her husband, my granddaughter, and one guy showed up. Now, I invited a lot of people, but that's who showed up. Mm -hmm. That was the first time I saw the compensation plan. So I saw the compensation plan. I have written compensation plans for the companies. I mean, that's my sweet spot. I love talking money. I love compensation plans. I love how they work. When I saw this compensation plan, it was so simple and yet so powerful. I got it big time. I got up off the couch. I went over and I made a call to my friend, Dr. Dennis who I told you earlier, yeah. I mentioned that to my dad, he, he knows everybody. And so I call him, I say, Dr. Dennis, have you heard of LifeWave and the X39 patch? He goes, no, why? I said, thank you, Jesus. A little, I said that right <laughs> now. I call. I was so excited. I go, all right, we got to have a talk. And so the first thing I did was have a home meeting to officially launch my business. Yeah. Now, if your sponsor's out of a state or you know a different country, they may not be able to call your home like he did for me. But you can still zoom that person in, yep. let them do the presentation. And basically, you're just drawing a line in the sand and you're starting your business. You're getting started. The next thing I did, Jenny, is I plugged into the system. I found out what was available and I made myself a valuable part of the team. I even told them, I, I've got all this experience and stuff, but I don't want to be the guy. Uh, I, I want to support you guys. I'll help you any way I can. But I love the fact that you guys are the guys. I just want to plug in. Mm -hmm. What do I plug into? That's another key tip. Find out what there is to plug into and plug in. Be consistent. Whether you have a guest that you're bringing to a Zoom meeting or a home meeting or a, a local meeting or not, you show up. You be there to support the team. You be there to help your teammates who might have a guest there that night. So I became a team player 90 days ago. I became a team player. Every meeting, if, I, if I'm in town, I'm there. We do a once a week local meeting here. There's a once a week Zoom presentation. There's a once a week training. I'm on all three of those every single week, whether I have a guest or not. So I became a, a an important part of the team and supporting the team. That's another key point. The other thing is, is contact people and don't worry about who says yes and who says no. And I'm not going to tell you it's a numbers game because it is a numbers game, but it's tiny. It's tiny more than anything. And so you just want to go through everybody you know and let them know you're in business and it don't try to explain it to them. That's the biggest mistake people make. I, I don't explain this to anybody. I tell them my story, what happened for me, and I send them to thisisitinfo.com. Mm -hmm. Thisisitinfo.com. It's what everybody on our team uses. Our team, led by Steve and Gina Merritt, happens to be the fastest growing team in LifeWave by far. Yeah. So we're on the fastest growing team, and we're the fastest growing company. You couldn't be in a better spot if you're looking for an opportunity. So we plug into that recording and it basically there's like three videos on there that explain everything a person needs to know about the product. By the time they watch those three videos, they literally are calling me back and say, how do I get my product? Mm -hmm. However, you can't count on that. If you're going to be successful in this industry, the fortune is in the follow-up. You've heard that in probably every interview that Janie's done, but it's yeah. true. 
So within 24 to 48 hours, I'm reaching back out to that person. Hey, did you get a chance to watch those videos we talked about? Mm-hmm. And here's a point that most people won't get. And they think, oh, man, it's obnoxious. I'll contact somebody 10, 12 times to get them to watch that video if I want them on my team. Now, if I don't want them on my team, first of all, I'm not content on being <laughs> with. But if I want them on my team, I will reach out 10, 12 times because they don't know what I know. They don't know how it's going to change their life. They don't know how it's going to potentially change their parents, their siblings, their children. You have no idea the life you're going to impact. So they don't know that yet. So it's my job to get them to at least check out the information. And then I want them to try the product. There's a 30-day money-back guarantee. There's very little risk. And like I said, the cost is like 100 bucks a month. So you're not talking about a lot of money for someone if they're serious about life. You're, you're, I just want people to try it. And I don't want to try it for a week or a month. I want to try it for 90 days minimum. Because even though I told you about some success stories that happened right away, there are other stories that took six, eight weeks before the event, you know, the, the results really kicked in. Yeah. What if you had just done it for 30 days and your big breakthrough was in week six? Yeah. So I really encourage people to give it 90 days so you can experience what you're going to experience. Because once these stem cells are activated, they're going to go heal what needs healing in your body. So. I hope that helps. Those are some of the keys of what I did. Lots of activity. I contacted lots of people and I completely ignore the people that ghost me. Not in a bad way, but I don't think about it. I don't think about those people. I think about the two or three every day that say, Chuck, tell me more. Chuck, I watch the videos. How do I get started? Yeah. So I that's, love that. That's what I did. Okay. So two things come up for me in that, which is, first of all, badass crew, go rewind that about three minutes and listen to that process all over again write it down and figure out in your own business, are you doing those things? Where are you doing those things, right? Second thing that came up for me was, okay, fortune is in the follow-up. The number one reason why people drop the ball, well, is because they don't have a system. Now, in case people don't know this, I'm going to share this with you. System is actually an acronym. Did you know that? System is an acronym. It stands for Save Yourself Time energy, money. Because when you have a system, you save time, you save energy, because now you don't have to think, oh, what do I need to do next? And what's the thing? You just follow the system and it saves you money too, because then you're not trying to go invest in things that are outside of what the system is, right? So that's that's the thing. So what is the system for follow-up that you use? How do you track who you're talking to how many times you've talked to them? Because you said, I know I'm talking to them 10 or 12 times. And by the way, the marketing, the rule of thumb in marketing is it takes anywhere from 10 to 15 touches with someone before they take the next step in many cases. 10 to 15 touches. So you're right there in the middle. You're talking to them 10 to 12 times just to get them to watch the video. But how are you tracking this? I track it with Google Calendar. Uh, oh. What I do is I create an event for each person I talk to. So I create an event with their name and I put a follow-up date in there for my event and I put recurring. And so that just makes it very easy for me. And then in the description in Google Calendar, I put the notes of every conversation I have to where I know where I'm at when I go back to do it. So that's what I've used for years. It's worked very, very well for me. Oh, that is brilliant because I'm a, I'm a Google Calendar like raving fan <laughs> like anytime someone tells me they're on paper calendar i'm like how do you do that because paper doesn't ding <laughs> like paper doesn't ding i i need a ding to tell me to go do the next thing right <laughs> so that is brilliant because so many people are looking oh well how can i invest in some crm system and blah guys google calendar is free free and he just gave you a, a system so if you if you didn't catch it, hit rewind, go back a couple minutes and listen to how he uses Google Calendar to track who he's talking to each event. So are these like little 15 minute events? Like you put in a 15 minute event that you reached out to Jenny Bellinger and talked to Jenny Bellinger. And so now it's a recurring every week, every two weeks. What What's your system for follow up? How do you set up the recurring? It all depends on the person. Okay. When I first contact them, it's usually very quickly. I don't want you know, I'm within 24 to 40 hours. I'm making that first follow up. Okay. And then it goes weekly and then eventually monthly and then every three months, every six months. And if I like you, you're on my calendar for every year, just a touch base, just see how you're doing. 
So I've been doing this for years and years and years. So every day I have a bunch of people come up on my calendar that were in previous businesses or previous prospects. So I constantly have a people to talk to. Oh my gosh. I am so in love with you right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> don't tell your wife though. <laughs> Cause I don't well, mean it that way. Right. So, she'll right. Know. Right. so but, I know no, what you mean. but you know what I mean? Like, Oh my gosh, because I use Google calendar religiously. Like I am in my calendar eight to 10 times a day. Cause I, I don't try and keep my to-do list in my head. My to-do list is on my calendar. Everything that if I want it to get done, including laundry, grocery shopping, if it's not in my calendar, it doesn't get done. And all of a sudden I'm going, well, crap, I'm out of underwear. (laughs) Right? And now I'm doing laundry at 10 o'clock at night because I didn't calendar it. Right? So I learned, I've learned that about myself and I've learned that about a lot of other people. And if they're not getting stuff done, I'm going, you don't use a calendar, do you? And we get them on the calendar system and all of a sudden, my God, stuff's getting done. Your business grows because you're doing, you know, you, you have a system. So oh, I feel like I could talk forever to you about this, but there have been so many fantastic nuggets with this, I really hope, Badass Crew, that you favorite this episode, okay, depending on which app you're in, favorite this episode and put it in your calendar to come back and listen to it every week to catch the next nugget. Because I'm telling you guys, there's you're, listening to this one once is not going to be enough. You're going to want to listen to this more because there's so much information here. So, it, Chuck... You also have a really cool gift that you're offering to everybody. You already mentioned some of the videos. And so we didn't fully address the science of how the X39 works. And so uh, we've put together a place where you're uh, or anybody who's listening right now who wants to know the science, because I am such a science geek. I was like, I need to know how this works. So I went and watched the video. And so we have a link in the show notes. So badass crew, if you are like, okay, you put a patch on and like it does something and then things don't hurt anymore. Like how, how how does that work? Well, keep in mind, what, 30 years ago when those other patches started, you know, that stopped people from smoking, that patches that, you know, birth control patch, you know, patches can have effects, right? So if you want to know how, go to the link in the show notes. So my badass crew, they already know where the show notes are. But if this happens to be your very first time listening to Badass Direct Sales Mastery, and you're going, ooh, how do I get to the show notes? All you have to do, grab your phone, as long as you're not driving, click on today's episode, scroll under Chuck's picture, and you're going to see the link that says, you know, learn about X39 and how it works here. So there will be a link where you can go ahead and click that through. Now, Chuck, in addition to that, if someone has more questions, they want to ask you some questions about your calendar system, or they want to pick your brain about your 20 year, twenty plus years of experience in network marketing and how they can go next level maybe in their own business, how can they reach out to you? Well, the best way would be my um, Google, uh, globalchuck at gmail.com. There you Global- go. At globalchuck at gmail.com. And it's funny, I used that uh, as an email address when Gmail first came out. And as before, I had a global business. So it was kind of speaking that into existence. And since then, I've had multiple global businesses with literally 80, 90,000 people in, in two different organizations. So uh, it's very important what you prophesy, what words you use. Oh, absolutely. I definitely agree with that for sure. So global chuck at gmail.com we also have the link in the show notes so if you're worried about spelling it right which you know just in case click the link shoot him a quick email let him know you heard him here on badass direct sales mastery and ask your question or tell him thank you because gratitude is always welcome uh because if you learned something here if you had an aha moment which i'm telling you guys right now ooh, i just felt some of our audience have aha moments. Oh, that's so cool. I love that experience. Chuck, after this, I'll tell you how that happened. Anyway, 
That is so cool. Some people had some aha moments. So please send your gratitude to Chuck. Thank him for these aha moments and helping you understand your business better. Chuck, this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing your brilliance here. I so appreciate you. You're great at what you do. This is fun. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. And Badass Crew, you know how this goes. Stay tuned because there's another badass episode on its way. Thanks for listening to the Badass Direct Sales Mastery Podcast with your direct sales dom, Jenny Bellinger. Why are you waiting to go to BadassDirectSalesMastery.com? Don't make the dom get her whip. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to share it with another rock star that you know in direct sales after you subscribe to the podcast so you won't miss any future episodes. You can also check out the show notes for links and any contact information mentioned in today's episode. We'll see you next time.